Ever wondered how crucial estimating moments can be in the realm of big data? Why does it even matter? To begin with, estimating moments in big data is a key factor in understanding the distribution of data. It's like the backbone that holds the body of data together, helping us comprehend its shape, spread, and essence. But it's not just about understanding the data. Estimating moments also plays a crucial role in extracting vital information. It's like a treasure hunt where moments are the clues that lead us to the gold mine of valuable insights hidden in the massive data sets. Moreover, these moments are the prophecy stones that enable us to make accurate predictions. They assist in forecasting trends, behaviors, and outcomes, which is a cherished skill in various fields like computer science, business, and social sciences. So, understanding and estimating moments in big data is not only essential but also a game-changer in many fields. Now dive into the process of estimating moments in big data. It might seem challenging but it's quite straightforward when you understand the steps. So let's start with the basics. What are moments? In statistics, moments are specific quantitative measures that describe the shape of data sets. They are the building blocks that help us understand the nature and behavior of data. First up, we have the first moment, also known as the mean. It is the average of all the data points and provides a central location of the data. In the context of big data, calculating the mean might involve dealing with millions if not billions of data points. Then comes the second moment, or variance. It measures the dispersion or spread of data from the mean. In other words, it tells us how far the data points typically are from the average. With big data, calculating variance helps us understand the extent of data variability. Next is the third moment, known as skewness. This measures the asymmetry of the data distribution. It helps us identify if the data points lean more to the left or the right of the mean. For big data, skewness can indicate outliers or abnormalities that need attention. Finally, the fourth moment, kurtosis, measures the tails and sharpness of the data distribution. It tells us about the extremes of data, whether they are heavier or lighter than a normal distribution. In big data, kurtosis can be a useful tool for detecting anomalies. Now, how do we estimate these moments in big data? We use a method called moment estimation. This involves using sample data to estimate the moments of the entire population. It's like taking a snapshot of a crowded room to estimate the average height, the range of heights, and the outliers. In the realm of big data, moment estimation is incredibly valuable. It allows us to draw meaningful conclusions from massive data sets without having to process every single data point. It's like finding the essence of a story without having to read every page. That's how moments are estimated in big data. It's a systematic process that unveils the hidden aspects of our data. Let's recap what we've learned about estimating moments in big data. At its core, estimating moments is a critical aspect of understanding big data. It helps us comprehend the nature and structure of the data we're dealing with. By identifying the mean, variance, skewness, and kurtosis, we can gain a holistic view of our data set, a view that goes beyond simply knowing the raw data points. Now, let's revisit the process of estimating moments. We start by calculating the first moment, the mean, which gives us a central value for our data. Next, we compute the second moment, the variance. This tells us about the spread of our data. How dispersed are the data points around the mean? Are they tightly clustered or spread out? The third moment, skewness, gives us insights into the asymmetry of our data distribution. Is the data skewed to the left or right? And finally, the fourth moment, kurtosis, tells us about the tails of our data distribution. Are they heavy or light compared to a normal distribution? But why is all this important? Because understanding these moments can lead to better data interpretation and more accurate predictions. Knowing the mean and variance, for instance, can help us identify outliers and anomalies in our data. Understanding skewness can help us decide if we need to transform our data to make it more symmetrical for certain types of analysis. And kurtosis? It can inform us if we're dealing with data that has extreme values or outliers that could significantly impact our analysis. Moreover, these moments are the building blocks for more complex statistical models. They form the basis from which we can construct probability distributions, and they play a crucial role in machine learning algorithms. In essence, by understanding and accurately estimating these moments, we can make more informed decisions, design better algorithms, and ultimately unlock the potential of our data. Remember, understanding and estimating moments in big data is a powerful tool in your data science toolkit. Use it wisely and unlock the potential of your data.